Today I want to share with you guys what happened in my life and why I rebranded to, you can see the Seven Mountains Influencer. It happened for a few years ago. So I had been uh, running a digital marketing agency and that was my only purpose. I wanted to help people uh, get tools and strategies of how to brand themselves online, how to you know do the smartest way, how to share their message with the world. Because I just seen you know in the in the Christian world, a lot of people they're just stuck when it comes to marketing. They have a great message, great content, great heart, but they just get stuck of how to share it with the world. So I had seen that, so I was like, okay, I'm going to help them because I love marketing. So as I learned a ton for many, many years, invested a lot of money uh, to have mentor, to have just uh, courses that I enrolled in, programs that I enrolled in, mastermind, all those different things. And I really loved it. And at that time, I didn't work only with Christian. I worked with both Christian and non-Christian. So... Then suddenly, because when I was newly saved for many, many years ago, when I was 26 years old, uh, the Lord had spoken to me about the seven mountains, which first was um, uh, appeared in a dream to Bill Bright and Lauren Cunningham. And I didn't know them and I didn't know the message. I just started to listen to it through uh, Lance Wallnow, actually, and that's where I started to learn more about it. So I had the seven mountain up on my vision board and I listened to it. I just didn't do a lot about it. So fast forward today or for two years ago, um, I'm married. I live in Kansas City. I have a son. And then I was one day I was in prayer and I just felt the Lord inviting me to, hey, do you like, do you remember the seven mountains? And I'm not a person that easily say like, God told me so, or, and I, I don't, I think, you know, it's important to use wisdom as well. And I think we always have a choice just so that is said. But anyway, I remember in my prayer time that I just felt he invited me to focus on the seven mountain, to share the seven mountain message, to rebrand myself and just turn my whole agency into more coaching and mentorship within the seven mountain, uh, teaching people about leadership skills, help people to change their mindset when it comes to biblical things. Because I see people have a tendency, they pray, they read the Bible, and then they don't live it out. And that's my passion. I want to help people to live it out in life and in business and in ministry, but just a holistic, authentic life where we can be the world and be the things that we preach and talk about. So that's my approach. Like I want to train them to be strong leaders, to influence uh, all of the spheres of the seven mountains. That's my heart. So when I was like, okay, God, do you want me to rebrand? What do you want? I wasn't sure. Uh, and I was also very insecure and fearful because I was like, I'm not sure if I only want to work with Christian people because they have so much lack of character. That was my thought and, and my perspective. Their lack of character, they don't have money, they don't follow through. So I don't know if I want to go there. So I was hesitant. But I felt this strong impression, this strong invitation upon me to go that route. So then I was like, well, I don't want to ignore this. So I think I just said one time when I was like talking with God and I was like, well, God, if this is the direction you want me to go, go to, if you want me to start to share about the seven mountains and train leaders with leadership skill, people skills, my, uh, change their mindset to have increased mindset and abundance then I need you oh, I didn't say I, I don't remember exactly what I said but I think I said if if that this is what you want 
please give me a confirmation and and connect me with Lauren Cunningham because I want to honor him. I don't want to like start this and say like hey this is like my message because it's not something that came from me um so anyway i was like okay how can i connect with him i don't know how to connect with him so i wrote him a letter to a friend of mine and then i in my head i was thinking there's no way that I will connect with him. He's the main leader for Youth With A Mission. He has a world, world ministry. And you know, so I don't, in my head, I was just thinking no, but I still took the action to do it and see. And what happened just two, three weeks later after I sent the, the letter, I received an email saying that he would love to meet with me and he would love to share how the seven mountain uh, was birthed and what happened and how him and bill bright came together and connected and they both had the same dream so in that moment i was like okay you are showing me to redirect my business or slash ministry or purpose whatever you want to call it in a whole other direction and that's what i did because I definitely believe in, you know, strong strategy, strong marketing uh, tactics and all these different things. But then since I'm a believer, I also believe in just inspiration and guidance from God in different things. And for me, that was an epiphany. For me, that was a change in my purpose and in my calling. So I changed everything to move in that direction. And two years later, you know, now I'm running coaching and mentorship program. I do sometimes help people with marketing because I still love that, of course. But I want to share this with you because maybe you're in the same situation. Maybe there are things uh, that you're looking for or strategies you're going through and people tell you, well, just do A, B, C. But then the thing is, when we are Christians, it might be sometimes a little upside down down because we come from a kingdom that is an upside down kingdom so sometimes the things the right things to do and the strategies suddenly he may be come in and interrupt and do something new and different and i wanted to share that with you guys because i have experience and i'm also helping other people to like navigate through that and like what is an invitation from god what is not you know who are you and to just gain clarity and awareness so i hope that helped some of you uh if you do have any question please uh, feel free to reach out to me but that is kind of the beginning of my new rebranding of the seven mountain and i'll be sharing more as we continue going into this fall so bless you and I'm excited to hear what you guys are working on.